Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this fabulous brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today, we'll be talking about the exciting new Ultra Outroad 2. This is coming out in June of 2023 and is the exciting update to, you guessed it, the Outroad 1. This was a new model shoe for Ultra in 2022. This was their first sort of foray into a hybrid shoe. We have another brand that we work with that's had a hybrid shoe out for some time and, and it's been a very popular model for us because really, as I mentioned in another video that we do, is uh, a lot of people don't have the option of getting to the trail all that frequently. So having a dedicated trail shoe sometimes can be a bit of a luxury. Um, so the Outroad was meant to sort of be, it's kind of, Bridge the gap there and have a shoe that you can do a little bit of everything in. If you're looking for that road shoe, great. If you're looking for that trail shoe, great. Now, I'm going to kind of go into how I think that split may be because I'm not sure if I would call this a right down the middle 50-50 shoe. Uh, I actually kind of think it leans one more or the other. But let's go into some of the specs of this, shirt, this shoe first. This is a 27 mil stack height. So this, if you're looking for like an ultra shoe to compare it to, it's kind of hard to find an exact horizontal shoe that goes right in line with this shoe. It sort of falls somewhere between like a provision and a Torin. So it's sort of right in between like a mid and a max cushion shoe. It has an Ego midsole, which we're finding in most of the ultra shoes out there. So it's that nice, plush, responsive midsole feel that when you step down onto it, it's soft when you're running, it's sort of responsive. The outsole is a max track outsole, so it's not a Vibram, which is not really what they wanted in sort of a hybrid shoe. So it's got some stickiness to it, but it's not overly sticky. It's not that sound when you're walking behind someone in a Vibram where it sounds like, you know, that's squeak, squeak, like a gecko on the ground. Like it doesn't have that, but it has some more that you're going to find in just a traditional road shoe. It's got sort of a, a, a new redesigned upper to it, so it's not a true mesh, but it's not as rugged as you're going to find on some of the other trail stuff. It's, it's like, again, it's sort of straddling the line there between what you'd find in a road and what you'd find in a trail. It's not waterproof. It's not quite water resistant. It's somewhere right smack in the middle. It does have a reinforced toe cap to it, so if you are somewhere that's going to be more rocky and such, you should be okay to it. But it's not like a full-on stone guard that you might find in some other trail stuff there. So again, there's a little bit of contrast there's a little bit of things that you find in a road and a little bit of things you find in a trail. Um, I, I talked about sort of why, like how this shoe splits up and where this falls in the line, at least I'm using myself as an example. Uh, you know, I, I do a lot of trail running, so I have some very trail specific shoes, but when I got an Outroad 1, I kind of wanted to make sure I put it through its paces and did a little bit of everything into it. And then sort of now I can, after a year, be able to see where it falls in as far as my daily rotation of shoes go. So uh, I, when I first got this, I actually took this on like a little weekend trip because I like taking a hybrid shoe on somewhere where I would do a little bit of everything into it, where I might do a little bit of hiking or trail running or somewhere I might do a little bit of walking and such. And, and it really was great for all that. I definitely find this to be a little leaning a little more road and that's not necessarily a bad thing because I think most people will probably end up using this a little more road than a little more trail. So if somebody came in here and said like, I'm doing 75% on the trail, 25% on the road, I might lean them towards a couple other options. But if it's the flip, if you're like, I'm 75% of my miles on the road and like 25% on the trail, then the out road is great. And the only reason why I say that is, well, this has this nice max track exterior to it, outsole to it, and it's somewhat grippy. It's not the most technical trail shoe. I actually really like this if somebody said like, I'm doing some light trail running, some light, some light hiking, and I do a lot of stuff on like rail trails and such that's kind of can beat up a traditional road shoe, but isn't quite as technical as what you might find on like a really heavy trail shoe. Like if you went and jumped in a local 50K in your community, you probably wouldn't see people wearing an Outroad. You might see them wearing like, Olympic or Olympus or something along those lines. But if you were going somewhere that like you're walking along a canal or you're just doing some light Saturday hiking with the family, you're probably, there's a good chance you could see an outroad because that to me is more where it falls in line with those type of shoes. I wouldn't say this is the most technical, but it's definitely a step up from what you'd find if you were going back to that like ultra torn or something that you might use for your every day. Where I've actually found this shoe more in my rotation is I wear it around just a lot just like on casual days or crappy days or bad weather days. I just find it to be a very comfortable shoe. It is a slim fit ultra, so you have to keep that in mind compared to some of the other ultra shoes out there. It is not going to be the most forgiving toe box. And that also might be why I don't run in it necessarily as much as I do just kind of putzing around in it because I do have sort of a wider foot. So when I'm running, I need something a little extra width. But this slim fit for just like an everyday casual shoe that especially like 
We had a festival down here this weekend and it rained like crazy. Um, and this was a perfect shoe of like, I'm in a bunch of crappy weather. It's gonna give me some, some, some protection underfoot if it, when it was slippery and crappy out. My foot stayed dry in it. Um, I was just super happy with it. But if you were looking for a shoe to do some traveling with, you know, I look for that shoe I talk about like, you can wear to the airport, you can wear on the trail, you can wear on a hike, you can run it, do a little bit of everything. Then the Outroad is sort of it. I think it's got a little bit of everything to it. The little changes that they made on the update aren't anything too drastic. Even like the pattern on the on the outsole is the same. Um, they just redid the upper a little bit. They changed the lacing pattern, which to me actually makes it fit just a pinch wider. And they've sort of flattened out a little bit of the heel cup, but the rest is pretty similar. One thing I noticed on both outroads when I first put them on is it's not a super deep heel cup. It almost reminds me a little bit of the original Rivera when I first got it in that like you don't necessarily sink super low in it. So keep that in mind. If you're somebody who like puts an orthotic in a shoe, it will kind of step you out of the heel a little bit. I actually, as you can kind of see, I, I kind of did the marathon loop on mine just to hold my heel in a little bit better. I feel like I sink a pinch lower in the new outroad too, but not tons. So keep that in mind if you are going to be adding something aftermarket to an insert, a custom, whatever that it will kind of make you step up a little bit of the heel and it could cause a little bit of rubbing down here or just feel like you're coming out of the shoe. But overall, it's a great hybrid shoe. This shoe was, the original one was way more popular than I thought it was gonna be. And maybe that's just because I underestimated the type of market for that or I'm just a dullard, but I underestimated how good and popular the Outroad one was. So I'm expecting nothing but positive things on the Outroad too. The new color updates are great, and we're gonna show you a bunch of the fun colors out there. But it's just a nice, fun shoe. If you're looking for that casual shoe that you can do a little bit of everything in, but I still would just caution you, I would say this shoe leans more road than trail, but there's no reason why you still couldn't make this a shoe that you're using. If you're hitting the trail and doing a couple runs a month out there, you couldn't, there's no reason why you couldn't. I just, if you were somewhere going more technical, there might be better options out there. So there you have it, the Outroad 2, available June 1st, 2023. It is $140, so it did stay the same. as last year, which is nice because things keep going up. Uh, if you wanted to purchase this fine shoe or anything else that's new on our, on our online store, we'll have a link down below. And if you enter promo code RUNMORE, no space, just R-U-N-M-O-O-R-E, you'll save 10% on your order and we'll ship it out for free. Um, have any questions, feel free to leave it down below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And I uh, hope you found this video useful. If you did, do me a favor and like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us find some new people out there. And if you're in the greater Westminster area, come on by our lovely shop. I'm pretty much always here and happy to chat. Um, stay safe, have fun out there running. And as always, we hope to see you around town.